Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. What have we got in here? Well, we've got a load of stuff that we want for down the other side. So, we've got our gardens up and kind of ready to roll down here, although I haven't put anything into them yet. I will be putting stuff in them, but I'm not going to put stuff in them yet. I'm, I'm still sort of waiting on that one. I'm just going to run up here a minute, and what do we got? We got 184 of them. So I'm going to start just dropping in a few bits of this. It does look like you are not able to get in this game 23, 26, 29, a load of those. Uh, yeah, it does look like you are not able to get in this game. Um, yeah, let me do that. Right, 50 of them running. Uh, what was I going to say? Nobody gets... It looks like the zombies don't actually mine up gold or anything more than that. It looks like they only bring you silver. So if you want to get gold, you've got to do stuff yourself. I didn't realize this. Now, I've got a load of pieces of marble down here. So I'm hoping that they are still bringing the stuff down. Um, I'm going to just double check and we'll have a little wander along here and we'll see if they are still bringing items down this way. Um, we've got the guy doing the timber. Right, what have you got? You're at 28% efficiency. I, I can't remember which one you are. Right, I'm going to go and I'm going to very quickly just grab stuff off of here. And then I'm going to chase after that zombie and I'm going to see if he's bringing... So we've got four pieces of honey from there. Because we did get that little bit of an upgrade. And then we go running back over this way. And hopefully we get there before that zombie does. Are we? We are borderline close. And there is the piece of marble right there. So he should, in theory, grab up that piece of marble. And nobly go where no zombie has gone before. Why aren't you doing it? Be noble. Nobly go. He doesn't appear to be nobly going anywhere. Uh... We got that one. Should be. He should be doing it. Why is he not doing it? Maybe he's broke. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Right. Well, anyway, we, we can ignore them. We know that they're working. We know that they're doing stuff. And other than that, we don't really need to care. So our zombies in here, we are completely empty. We don't have any donkey or anything like that. I'm just going to get rid of those a second. I'm not going to worry about any of the rest of it. Uh, then I'm going to come out here and I, mean, I want more food. I want... Oh, hang on. Have I said my prayer today? It's prayer day. That was what I was supposed to do, the prayer, at the beginning of this episode. And I have not done the prayer, so that's the first thing we'll do a minute. We'll go in here. I think I may have already done the prayer, but I'm not 100% certain. Gold story! Nice! Nice little score there. I like it. Run back up here a second, and we've got until midnight to do the prayer, apparently, from what I said, um, I found out previously, but no, we hadn't done it, so that was fortunate, we get our prayer done, I'm going to empty out the rest of the graveyard today, that is my main task today, is I want to empty out the rest of the graveyard and get all the rest of them out, then we'll worry about getting the donkey back, um, I do want some food that I can eat while I'm doing this, but uh, obviously that's a slightly lower, um, priority than some of the other bits, uh, but yeah, that is my absolute main priority today. I want to empty out the graveyard, so I'd like to get... Just wait for that to finish. Yeah, I'd like to get enough food so that I can, like, keep a, a good supply of food running and I get some benefits from that. Because getting all of the stuff out of the graveyard, that's going to lower down the money that we're getting just temporarily until we start sort of building it back up and filling in all of the graves again. So that's why I want to do that, so that then I can do this as quickly as possible and start refilling all of those graves. Uh, we've got some gold. I want to go up this way and I want to grab the gold that we've got so that we can make the gold dust and we'll be able to use that. I will just do these a minute. Um get some more compost running so that we've got plenty of compost in there uh, that stuff is all going I'm gonna leave the rest of it we'll just come over to here and we will deposit you and we'll deposit you there is nothing else that I want to leave right there 
So then we'll go and empty out all the other bits that we don't really want right now, which includes that, and it includes that, and all of those. I don't want them. I don't want that one either. I do want food. Take those apples. I want lots of food. I want the cheapest food that I can get. Now, we've got a load of stuff with pumpkins and stuff like that. I mean, if I look in here, the, like the raw sliced meat, we want that for burgers, which we're going to want up the top. So I don't really want to do anything with the burgers at the moment. I could make some pastry dough. Um, I don't have any fish. Uh, burgers, I see, I can make burgers, but I, I don't want to go into doing that at the moment. I can do a little bit of berry juice, but again, it's not really something we want to do a lot of. So then we look in here. We've got bread right there. Now, bread is quite good. Baked apples are reasonably effective. So are the baked mushrooms. Pancakes. Ooh. Oh, there, there's just Silver Star. I could just do pancakes. I didn't realize that. It's not going to let me go back into the cooker, though. So I can't, like, do anything until those pancakes are finished making. So while I'm waiting for those pancakes to finish making, I'm going to go down here. What have we got? I got 20 bottles of red wine. This is all stuff I'm saving for down going down into the dungeon, though. Um, but maybe I could use some of that. And it's, it's the healing. I, I'm thinking I'm going to be wanting to take a lot of that with me into the dungeon, even though we've got some better quality stuff that is very soon going to be available. So I'm going to go and have a look in there. And I'm going to leave that one behind. And then I'm going to go this way over here. And I'm going to leave behind the gold quality story that I've got now. Goes into there. I've got four of those now, which is absolutely fantastic. We've got some skulls around, but I'm going to possibly need more skulls. It's one thing is I am possibly going to need more skulls. We haven't done the dungeon. We will do the dungeon. We're, we're going to have to have a decent session doing the dungeon, I think. That's, that's going to be a, a thing that we're going to do soon. I get five pancakes there. That's pretty good. Butter, I mean, that will use up the last of my butter if I do that again. So we will have a look at those in a minute. And then over here. So I've got fish nuggets. I can make those. I could do three of them. i got the oil for it. Could use up some fish. Baked fish. That's, but these are plus 25. That's actually pretty good. Okay. I'm happy to do that. We, we use up those three right there. So a minute and a half. That's going to take to do those. So while that minute and a half is busy running, I will just grab those right there and dump them in there. We've got a load of them. will soon be coming out. Uh, the stone, I can leave that behind as well. Those apples I think I was going to take inside, wasn't I? Oh, no, 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 no. I've got apples in here. I was actually going to use the apples. I'll take them with me. I'll take them out. Um... Because I wanted to make something else with them, didn't I? I also, I want to make the materials for another columbarium. I don't have the, the white porcelain yet. I'm going to drop the... Oh, no, I don't want to drop the faith in. I want to leave, I'll keep hold of the faith. But no, I want to go to there and then pail of apple juice. Let's make three of them a minute. We'll work that through and we'll make these... I'll tell you what, we can do this. We'll, we'll do... While, we, while we're making our supply of food, we can also work some of this stuff. Uh, pail of grape juice right there. I've got two of these. I, I don't actually... You've got to do them one at a time by the look of it, unfortunately. It's, um, it's not ideal still. We take what we can get. We do that one there. So there's another pail of grape juice that we've got. And then we go into here and we go up through. So we've got another one. We've got a gold one now. So we should be able to make some gold quality wine, which is going to be absolutely fanschmastic. We get that one working there. That's done. Right. So then I can come back over this way. There is our zombie. He's put more of those down. This guy is not turning those into stone. And I'm not quite sure why. So I will increase that by times two. I'm going to put that down there. I'm going to do that again. And why aren't you, why aren't you doing this? I get rid of that one a minute. And then I go, piece of stone. No, it's not from there. From here. Oh, I see. Right. So, we, we, what we, we're going to have to do a extra piece on here. Okay. Right. I'll, I'll drop that in. There. I can't actually add it into the queue here anymore. Can't like, add another one of these over there. So what I need to do is, first up, I want to go craft like that. And I want to make a wooden wedge. I'm going to put that on 
infinite for it. No, actually, do I put it on infinite? I'm No, I'm not going to put it on infinite, but I am going to increase this up and I'm going to make like 30 of them for now. I've got 132 wooden billet in there, so we'll also make a few extra wooden billets, I think. If I go to you right there, that one I will put in on infinite again just for a little while. So that's going to make a few of them. As soon as that first lot of wooden billet is done, this guy down here will then be able to start the next lot of these. Right, he's done the first lot there. It's just slow is all he is. It's, there's no like major issues on that. So then I can drop that one in there. Oh, that's times four now. Do times one like that, and then turn it to infinite, and that'll just keep working. So that's going to work through all of them. He's working through all of them. They're all very happy. I'm happy because I've now got fish sticks, and we can start having a look through for some other things. We've got baked salmon there. We've got blue fish fillet there, which I don't want. Beet slices. Effect on use plus 15. It uses two beets, so yeah, you lose one point on those, which is not so good. I don't really get the idea of making the beet slices. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Uh, the omelette here is just a three, as a, a one, uh, uh, it's one of those. The bronze, bronze star, that's what I'm going to call it. Baked pumpkin, right. Baked pumpkin here, I've got one of one for the bronze quality pumpkin. I can make that... I'm looking through here. Yes. I, I, I want to reset it. Nope, i got to actually exit it to reset that. So, uh, Yeah, that's plus 15. So that'll be three of them times 15. That one's 11 on its own. Or, yeah, because the bronze... I'm using the bronze one. Slow metabolism, all buffs last longer. So you eat that first, and then you eat the other buffs. And it basically does better for you, which is pretty good. Uh, so there, that goes to nothing. That goes all the way up to Gold Star. That one down there. We've got a chance of it going up higher. So, uh, don't know. Bowl of pumpkin soup. Oh, I see. Right. I need an extra uh, bronze pumpkin there. Okay. Well, we'll make one of them. There's, that's some food. We we got some food here. A little a little bit of food is better than nothing at all. I'm just gonna leave that stuff up there for a minute, and I'm gonna come back down here. I got more of these still to do. Let's take you, and take you, and take you as well. Then we'll run over here. Those are ready to roll. I'm not going to do anything with them just yet. I'll empty you out and empty you out. Uh, I meant to go down into the basement to put the wine going down there. So we're going to do that. Very noisy, that chap there, isn't he? With his um, circular saw. Although, circular saws aren't generally known for being very quiet, are they? So, it, it does kind of make sense. Let's drop those. We got five of those. We got two of those. Um, oh, apple. Tail of apple juice as well. And I'm carrying honey around. Let's just run back up here and put the honey up in here. That'll go in there like that. That's perfect. And then, oop, okay, well, we'll grab those sliced pumpkins. While I'm up here... Let's get some more stuff cooking. We've got a bowl of lentils right there. Yeah, we could use up some of the Silver Star ones. Uh, might as well. Go for it. Just use up some of those. Drop down into here. And now I want to have a look over here. So, craft. I can use two of them right there. I can go... That's a 50% chance of producing bronze. And I'm guessing 50% chance of producing nothing at all. 100% bronze. 50% there. Oh, I see. It's the wine master one there. So I use the gold and it goes up to that. So it's not that great. Uh, we want to go in here. We go to technologies. I got 17 points at the moment. It's that one. Farming in nature. And it's that one there. The blending. That's what I want. I want 50 points in there. Which is what we need to go and get. So I'm going to leave. I don't actually have them on me, so I can leave them. That's fine. That's excellent. I'm going to leave them for a minute, and I will make wine a little bit later once I've got that buff on me. Our zombie is busy working. He has very kindly made us a new book here, which is actually really handy. Uh, so we'll take that book there, and we will learn that one. So there's another 25 points for us. That's going to put us up to... Oh, I wonder if I... Can I... Can I do anything with any of these foods? Got a few items here. Let's just have a look. No, I can't. 
Right, that's just extra stuff there. Uh, none of these are blue study. It's not anything. No, okay, so we've got nothing for blue study in there. I need 50 points for the technology. I need another 8 points, which is... I'm going to have to just go and craft a few things. That's what I wanted. I wanted gold dust. I'll, worry, I'll, I'll deal with that later. I'll worry about the gold dust a bit later on. Um, I'm going to make some gold dust fairly soon. Right. Our first task is to go through here and remove everything else. Marble grey fence 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's not a very good quality body, really. 3... Six. Oh, no, it's nine. Well, it, it's better than a kick in the teeth, I suppose. This one we do want. That one's got to come out. So we can remove that fence right there. And I don't know about those statues. I think I need to remove those statues as well. So let's remove you. That body can come out. And we'll run that one over to the thingy. Exhume. Yes. Oh, no. i still got to dig it out. This is our main task. I, it still, I still want to do this. I know that I've sort of been messing around a bit, but I still want to do this. Then we'll start worrying about um, getting the merchant and everything back on track properly, making sure everything's working well on there. So we want to come in here. We've got a six... I haven't taken anything out of this body at all. So we've got three on there. Now that, I don't think, ends up all that great, does it? Um... What do we end up with here? You add two. And no, you add, so add three skulls all together. That makes a nine. And then you bring it back out again. But if you start with two, you end up with all whites when you bring it back over to the table. And then those add two more. Right? So we'll get a nine. And then we'll end up with a ten overall. This is a ten overall. Six with three red ends up being a ten overall. Uh... I suppose actually that is acceptable. A 10 overall is acceptable. So we'll drop you on there. It doesn't say. What percentage is that? But I, I, I don't remember what percentage the body was. But uh, it'll be fine. Let's have a look in here. I don't have any embalming stuff at the moment. We'll worry about the embalming stuff in a bit. We'll get bodies on the tables ready to roll. Then we'll get the embalming stuff ready. And it's emptying the graveyard first. That's, that's the first thing we want to do. So this body's got to come out. Which means that the... Stone scripture right there. That one, that one's got to be broken down as well, anyway. Um, and then that marble grey fence too, right there. That one's got to come out. That one we'll put into storage. So we got a, a body here that we need to exhume. Yes, and dig you up out of the ground. You're on ninety-six percent, which is not ideal, but we can still do something with it. Well, I think we can. Depends entirely on what we've got. Uh, right, let's drop you on here. So this one, I've taken out the fat and the blood already. That's going to give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got eight on here altogether. It's going to be eight with three. So if we put back in one of those... I don't need to put all of them. I can just put one back in. So we'll put some blood back in there like that. And I've run out of energy. So let's eat that bowl of lentils right there. There we go. So we've now got two on here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We put that in through the process and that will add three more skulls. This will end up being a 12 quality body. Okay. You, if you put it onto the autopsy table down there and you give it all four in, with two red skulls already, you give it all four injections, you end up with three more skulls, which are all, everything is then white as well. So we'll end up with an 11, and we can take out the blood as the last thing that we can take out. That will add one more white skull. If I put the, if I put the fat back in, all that's going to do is add another red, and then we'll take it out again at the end. It's not going to make any difference. But removing that one. So this will end up being a 12. That's all we need to know. You want to you wanna have two red skulls when you start. Embalming process. So at the end of it, you've got three additional skulls and everything is white. So that one will end up being a 12 quality body, which is not too bad. This one right here, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's acceptable. It's not wonderful, but it is acceptable. This one here is even more acceptable. One, two, three, four, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's easy. It's, easy. it's an eleven. An eleven. That's the eleven is good. This one is only a six. It is all white, but this one's definitely got to come out. That is only a six on all white. I suspect, though, that we might. This one may be all right. This this one may be a reasonable quality body. By the time we finish with this one, we bring this one, run it round. And I reckon that we'll probably have taken out the blood and fat from this one. So we'll put the blood and the fat back in again. Yes, we have. So we can. what we can do with this one, we put both the blood and the fat back into this one. That's going to give us a lower quality. It's going to give us more skulls. Right. Um, I really don't have that much food here, do I? I need, to, I need to make more food. So there's three. I'll eat all three of them. That, oh, I see that. That prolongs the buffs, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm just going to ignore buffs at the moment. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, no, it, it's, I'm not adding extras on here. I'm not adding extras at all. It's not going to be like a super good quality body. Um, so that was six with two. So then I look in here, I got six. Uh, six with one, sorry. I got six with two now. I just had six whites. So now I've got six with those two on there. So we'll add three, three skulls on. The time we finish doing the injections, the embalming process, that will add three skulls. And that's going to be um, a nine. And then we can take those two out, which will turn it into an eleven. Which is a fairly good body. That's what we want. So put you onto there. So there's an eleven potential on that one. And I'll go back over. I'm going to dig up another body that we've already removed all the stuff for. Yeah, what I am going to do, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to drop in that marble grey fence. That's stone, 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 stone. I don't want any of those. So I'll just go along here and I'll remove that one from the grave right there. Exhume. Yes. Dig you up. And I'm taking you with me, sunshine. See what this one is going to give us. Um, yeah, overall, I think we're doing pretty well now. Get you up in here and... Right, what have you got? You're not so good. I can put the skull back in, so that's going to remove one of them. And then I can put one of the bloods back in, so that's going to give me... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so it's going to be... It. That will end up being a 12. That's not bad. Okay, so I need to put a skull back in there. That one's got to have a skull be pushed back in. Like that. So that's removed one of them. And then if I do this, it's going to swap one of them over. So I'll put blood back into that one. I'm keeping the fat rather than the bloods. Uh, put that in. So now I've got a two on here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Add three onto there, we'll make an 11. And then uh, I can remove one from it at the finish, which will make a 12. Which is a pretty reasonable um, trade-off. So next, I need the gold. That's our next thing that I want to get. I want to go back up here, and I want to get gold from wherever I've got it in the chest. You, I think, can probably stop crafting these now. So you also, you've got one last one of those to craft, and then I don't think you need any more. You had a set number of those, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'll come over to you, and I'll drop those in there. And then I'm going to go up here. I got another bowl of lentils. So I had in here... Oh, it was pancakes, wasn't it? These silver pancakes. These give me plus 33 apiece. I've only got one butter. All right, well, let's make one lot of pancakes. We'll grab some sleep as we're over here. Make the most of getting a little bit of shut-eye. And then I can take the pancakes with me. That's a bit more food that's done. Uh, what else? Oh, it was the gold. I came up to find the gold so that I can craft the gold dust, which means I can then make the gold items. And we'll worry about getting more gold ore later on. They've got ten pancakes now. That'll, that, that, that'll keep us going a bit. Plus, I've got the fish sticks. The bowl of lentils down there as well. Bring you out. Right, now. Can I do anything with these statues? All right. I got those in there. He does. He actually breaks apart the statues. That's good. Right. I'll take you as well. So he's going to work through those. He's going to break them down into their constituent parts. Uh, you're going to go up there. Where is this gold? I've got gold ore somewhere, and I cannot for the life of me remember where I've put it. I know what I'll do. Nope. Uh, I'm going to go like that. So we've got 
Sulfur in that one. I don't have gold in there. There it is. Look at I got loads of silver down here, but I just don't have any gold. No gold at all. There we go. I'll take those. Just the, that's, the, that's the only two that we've got. We haven't gotten any more. Either it doesn't happen or it's extremely rare. It's, it's one or the other, and I don't really know which at the moment. Berry juice. Does that give us... Is that like a... I don't know if that's a beneficial thing or not. I, I genuinely don't know. Um, I could make here a load of dough so that I could make some bread. Bread doesn't give us a huge amount of energy, does it? You get 12 for that. If I make pastry dough... I can't make any more pancakes now. Uh, dough, ordinary dough. Uh, that's fish and meat there. And have we got anything else? Ooh. Dough there. I could make lasagnas. That's 25 up to 35. What I actually want is... I wish it stopped doing that. It's that horrible clicking noise it does when you open one up. What I'd like is like the omelette here. That gives me plus 20 when I use it. I can put multiple ones of those cooking, and that's why they're really useful. That's what I really like about those, is I can put multiple... Ooh! A muffin is 20. A croissant is 25. That'll use some honey. Pastry dough. We need... Uh, no, hang on. No, they're, they're both... Both ordinary dough. I can make some ordinary dough. I could do that. Let's make 10 lots. Is it 10 lots? Uh... Yeah, that was actually... Oh, okay, well, we'll do 12 lots. But very quickly, work through. We do 12 lots of dough. And then we've got a, an extra supply of food, which is going to keep us going just a little bit longer. And then we can put in... What were we going to put in? I'll put in an order for more stuff to be made. There's the pastry dough. I'll drop that into there like that. So we've got 48 pastry doughs. Then we'll go into here. i got 41 of them, so I, I don't want to use all of them up. Right now, though, we'll use all the eggs up. We've got some eggs here. Eggs are not that expensive to go and buy, so we'll use all of these up. Uh, we've got pastry dough right there. That's ordinary dough, ordinary dough. Uh, the cake, plus 95. It's pretty good. Uh, berry pie right there is pastry dough. And, oh, that's the berry juice. And I get two of them. 35 energy. This I get quite a lot. That's using up the eggs. Uh, great pie there. You can only make one at a time. Okay, well, we'll start off by making... Wait a minute. Wait, just... Oh, no, 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 no. We, we, I've ordered ten of them. I was going to say, 40 croissants for each one. No, it's because I've ordered ten of them to be made. <laughs> that would be pretty good. I, I would not complain about getting 40 croissants every single time I went and did that. That, that would be pretty spectacular. Right, we've got four bodies in here that are waiting to go. So, the next thing that we want to do, I want to make some gold dust. Actually, I need to make sure that I find out what else I use for the dust. Um, I can make the gold dust for the gold injection. But what else do I need in order to make it? I, I got This is actually what I'm going to have to look up a sec. Toxic solution and chaos extract, or order solution and health extract, both of which I think I've got. So I want the mill grinder right here. And I haven't studied gold yet. Okay. First thing we want to do is we want to go there and we want to study the gold. That's going to be 20 on that one. So I'll very quickly study that one right there. There we go. That can be decomposed into powder. And that has got me a load more green points. Don't need green points anymore. We, we've got so many green points. It doesn't really matter. I'm hoping that they do, like, a, a thing later on, another add-on, another DLC, or whatever it might be. We get five bits of gold powder there. I'm going to do the other one as well. I'll, I'll do them both. Get all the gold powder. Um, I'm hoping that they add something in later on that gives you the ability to uh, do a thing with, um, like, the, the excess points that you generate. That would be very cool if we could do something with that. I need more order solution. And what did I say? It's order solution or health ec and health extract, chaos extract and toxic solution. Chaos extract is easy enough. Life solution, I've only got one. Chaos solution. And death solution, right? Oh, yeah, of course, it's death solution is the one that I haven't got a load of. I am going to need to get some more of that. Silver powder, I've only got two of them. Well, I'm, I'm going to make so that I've got two of each. 
So let's go back into here a minute. And I want to first up a uh, toxic solution and chaos extract. Have I got toxic solution? If I'm making that. Uh, I've got some there. Toxic powder. I don't want toxic powder. And health extract as well. But no, we want gold powder first. Then uh, order solution and health extract. Where's the health extract? Have I got that? I don't actually have... I got health solution, but I don't have any health extract. I suppose I could make some, couldn't I? Let me just cancel that a second. Health extract. What's that going to get me? Where do I get Where do I get the health stuff from? That is... That's powders over there. Easy way to find out is to go on to here. Right, so it's not that... Oh, those are toxic. Right. Cabbages. What were those? That is life stuff, isn't it? Is that, uh, that's health uh, health, ex health solution. Um, then we also had uh, hemp. That's powder. And then you've got the white flowers there. That is life uh, extract. Order solution. Right. Let me come back round here and... Right. Cabbages don't boil down into anything. We've got hemp and we've got white flowers. So what was it that I wanted? I'm going to go for the hemp a minute. Start boiling you down. I suppose I could do with another one of those things. Uh, and then we go here and we take the gold powder. And then we go to the... What was next? Order solution and health extract. Health came from the cabbage, I think. Order solution. Have I got any more order? Oh, there. I got it right there. I got two. That was from the white flowers. That one was from the white flowers. And then here, this is the one that I don't have. Life extract, toxic chaos. But yeah, I don't have the one that I actually need. So I can't do that for a second. I need to wait for this to finish. Just to see if we get... I can't remember if... It, it, hopefully this is the one that we want. Oh, that's acceleration extract. Been having somebody tell me I need to do something with acceleration stuff. I haven't done it yet. Um, maybe it's the white flower. What is it? I want. I want health extract. Well, health came from the cabbages, so where else can I get health from? Is it from the moth? I don't think it's from the moth. Maybe it's from these. Let's try the maggots. It is lentils or pumpkins of any caliber or quantity. Well, not necessarily quantity. Any caliber and, and any quality. Uh, lentils or pumpkins. That's what we need in order to get the other extract. So if I do that for the gold... Oh, there we go. Got a load of lentils right there. Uh, I can take some lentils from here, actually. This would be a good place to get them. Go to you right there. There we go. I've got nine of these. So I will take five of them, like that. And then I will whiz back over this way. And we can drop that into the distillation cube. So while we're waiting for those to make, I wanted some more silver. I've got enough to be able to make two lots of the different items that I'm after. So I do want a little bit more silver. I can um, go down to here. I don't want to make you. I want to drop... No, I've got to actually... Yeah, I, I've got to study the lentils first. So we study the lentils and then I will be able to do something with them. We put you in there. That is three... Beautiful, absolutely wonderful. That's given me a whole load more green points, which we don't really need, to be honest. Then we can go there and we can put the lentils in there. Right, so they are going to give us the awesome stuff that we need. And then I will go... I don't want to go there. I'm going to run up to this one a second. And I'm going to drop those in there like that. I'm also going to drop... Actually, no. Let's see what we can put in here. I can put that in and that in. That one in and that one in as an extra one. And then the goop can come out of there. It's taking up space. So are those two. I've got two silver powder at the moment. The gold powder can go in there. And then we'll head up this way a second. And we'll put that one and that one and that one in there. So that they are out of the way. And they are no longer need to care about them. And you've got... You're about halfway through. So while we're waiting for those, I want to go to there and... Right, first up, I, ne I need life solution. Oh, I can't remember what life solution is now. I think life solution is actually like brains and stuff like that, isn't it? i got a feeling it is. However, we should be able to make some of those. I think I've got spare brains here somewhere. I haven't. <laughs> okay, um, 
I don't have any spare brains. I've got two golden elixirs at the moment, so I'm, I'm not shy of those. It's the... I, I'm going to need brains and um, intestines and all the rest of them. All right, there's some health extract. Let's get some more of those going. Where's those lentils gone? There. Get some of you going, and then I can bring this one over here, and I can drop that in. So I've got the health extract, I've got the health solution, uh, or the order, so whatever it was. It was one of them that I needed. Uh, open, I've got one heart. That's it, i got three hearts in here. I don't have the rest of the stuff that I'm going to want. I'm going to need to get a body, and I'm going to have to start stripping out more brains and stuff, because I've run out. I've actually run out of useful brains. So I need to go to you right here. I can't, it's not the hearts. The hearts are, they go through the distillation cube. Uh, so they're no good. I'll drop you in there a minute. Like that. I'm going to need, what about, in, is it intestines? Um, there's no intestines in there. Not in there. Really you. Go up like that, and then have a scroll down through and just see if I've got anything in here, which I don't. This is not good. I don't have all of the necessary materials that I'm going to need, so we're going to have to get another body, and we're going to have to strip it out. I'm going to need everything. Uh, life solution. It comes from one of them. Alkali. Well, I, I can make two of those, so let's start off by making two of these, and oh, I think I need more glass as well now. Now... This was, this was supposed to be so easy. I was just supposed to deal with the bodies, right? That's all I was supposed to do. Deal with a load of bodies. Be really easy, really simple. Okay, plan B. We're not going to do this because I don't have enough conical flasks either. I'm going to need to make a load more of them. So plan B, concentrate on the graveyard. That's, that was the plan. So we can still stick to plan B. And we can... We can't quite do everything else that I wanted to do, but if we're taking out all the rest of the bodies, we might be able to do something useful with this. I can at least remove everything that I want to remove in here before I have to go back to doing anything else. So I can, let's just have a look at those. Uh, there's nothing in there. Let's have a look at that one. That one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that one can stay. Those over there are fine. I've got bodies here that I want to take out of the graveyard, not that many, and then these here are stones that we want to remove. So let's start by exhuming all of these. Uh, oh, I need to remove those first. So this is what we'll do first. We'll exhume these bodies. I have one of them. I'll eat the fish sticks as well. Tastes like home achievement unlocked. So I can very quickly go to there, and then I can go to the stone grave fence, and I can remove that one as well. Right, there's that one out. And then we go here. We've got stone grey fence 2, stone cross 2. Those have got to come out. And if I go up through, I remove all the stonework first. Top priority, stonework. Once I've done that, anything that we want to keep goes in the chest. And then we can start processing all of the bodies. We can start lifting them all out of the, the various different graves. So stone grey fence there, that one can come out. And then we'll have the grave stone as well. That one's got to be lifted. I think we can do this nice and quick quite efficiently as well uh, go to you gravestone 2 right there that one's out and then we got another grave fence 2 right there you're out as well and I've got five more graves where we've got things that we need to remove before we can start exhuming bodies I'll do a quick count up see how many exhumation orders we're going to need as well and then we can start taking all of those out and I reckon some of these bodies here, I'm actually not going to, like, keep. I'm going to take the... Tell you what, let's start eating pancakes. Those pancakes look like they might be quite nice. Okay, those are quite good. Take out that one there, and you can go. Um, yeah, we'll get an exclamation order for every grave that we've got in here. And I want you right there. Those are damaged gravestones. That's not good. I think they'll still... I think they're still, like... Um, they can still be broken down with the zombie that's going to be working on them. Right, why are you not allowing me to work? It's, I remember now, this one I had, like, trouble with. For some reason, I had trouble with this. So I think it's to do with that garden there. Yeah, because I can't actually get out round that garden. So, if we go over here a minute and... 
remove that garden there like that we can put that we can put it back in again afterwards but i want to remove it now because then it'll allow me to access these graves properly uh, we we did have trouble with this i remember now For some reason it wouldn't access it from the top and all the others they do but this one here it didn't do that and I, i've no idea why it wouldn't let me i'm full now of everything except i'll tell you what i'll do i can go this way over here i can go into there and i can leave the stone behind so that we can rebuild some stuff pick that one up like that i've got two more graves that i need to take apart before i do that i'll just go to this one here we'll exhume this body this one here is only four it doesn't matter what we pull out of this one it's going to be very poor quality so i can just dump this one down and we'll be able to do some work on that one so i'm just going to drop it right there and that one will be cremated but we're going to take everything out because we've got all of the like the other bits for the bodies and that's kind of a thing now oh hang on no i don't want to put them up there i want to go down over this way i will go up like that go over to an empty chest over here and dump in all of that so he's going to be a busy little chappy there busy working on that i can go up there and i can drop those in then I can come back down this way and I can take that one body that we've got there and I'll run it indoors. Actually, I don't need to do anything else. I'll go and just run it over here and we'll drop it on a pallet for a minute. See, right there. Four skulls overall. Which means then I can go back over here. I can finish taking out the rest of the stuff here and I can get some more bodies dug up. This is all I want to do. If I can get rid of everything, then all we got is exhumation orders. And yes, we have lowered the graveyard quality by a considerable amount, which isn't great, but it's going to be beneficial in the long run. This is definitely going to work out well for us. Because then we've, sort of, we've done one of the biggest jobs, getting all of these out. We've got a load of open graves, which is also going to be really easy then for us to deal with. So let's have a couple of pancakes there. Get another one, Gravestone 2, if I can remove you. And I think that's every, that is every single decoration that we want removed from this graveyard done. So next up, we want, how many graves have we got left? We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. i got 14 graves that I need to be able to open up. I've got two exclamation orders, so I want 12 more exclamation orders so that I'm able to get them all. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. No more than that. That's all we want. So I'm going to take those, bring them up there, and I'm going to drop those in there like that. Okay, now, now, we're, now we're getting somewhere. Now we are really getting somewhere. That marble cross there. We'll see about repairing that one later. So you right here, you're the first one. We're going to exhume you. Six quality body is definitely not staying in this graveyard. And we'll run you along and we'll run you back. We'll do a quick calculation to see if we can keep you or if we're going to slice and dice. I'm erring on the side of slice and dice at the moment. Uh, if I put two back into there, it's going to be... That'll end up being an 11 quality body. But I also still want stuff in here. No, I'll tell you what. I'll just take that one. I'll put that on a fridge pallet over here. So as I'm now dealing with bodies, take you. Any bodies that we are going to cremate, because we haven't actually got that many that we're going to cremate, we will simply take everything out. We'll remove absolutely every item from the body so that we've got all of this different stuff that we can use. In particular... I want... No, it's not that. It's not the intestines. It would be the... Wait a minute. Oh, no. The heart goes through distillation. The brain. It is the brain that I wanted. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to need the heart and put that one down here. Except I think I've actually got lots of stuff for the heart. Um, that one in there. This is, this is the one that we want to put in here. We want to go down there and we want to put the heart in there. Craft. So that'll make that one. 
And then I want to go, it's not powder that I want, it's actually this one over here that I'm going to want. Uh, and I go to there, and it's the brain that I want to put in here. This turns into, we get brain juice out of this. Otherwise known as life solution times three. So we get three life solution out of there, which is the one that we are running low on. There we go. We've now got four life solution, which means that we'll now be able to make most of the things that we want to make over there. Good bit of brain juice. Brain juice is always good. Right, we can take the fat out right there. Get that one done. And then the next one is the flesh. Yep. Bit of goblin flesh never hurt anybody. We'll have that, and we'll have that, and we'll have that pancake as well. I'm going to work until I run out of energy again, then we will go to sleep. So we will take out the heart right there. And then we will take out the next one, which is going to be the intestines. Yes. And I want more brains. The skin is good as well. But I'm going to want more brains. More brains are going to be good. Skulls. See, I don't know. Although I am, like, I am occasionally putting skulls back into some bodies. But generally speaking, I don't think we need skulls. And people have told me that I shouldn't really be worrying too much about them. Because there's other things that we want to be getting. Um, those items don't stack. So I'll just put them in there for now. And then we can always move them later. Right, take that body out. That one is now done with. So I'm going to dump you down there. I'm not going to worry about you anymore. Then we're going to come out of here. We're going to go wandering up this way. It's a prayer day today. I nearly forgot to go and say the prayers. So we'll run up through this way and we will do some praying. And then that's going to be it. I didn't go to the lighthouse. I know I didn't go to the lighthouse. But uh, we will go to the lighthouse. We'll have to do that uh, in our next episode. Um, but we can very quickly get the prayer. Otherwise, I'm going to forget about this one as well. You know I will. I always do. And oh, I've got some confession to do over here. Let's grab that. That's another gold story. Two faith as well. The gold stories that we're getting from this is absolutely fantastic. Right, let's just quickly do the praying. Grab up that faith right there. The last of the money has gone in. Obviously, we've got less money coming in at the moment because of um, issues. We've still got three gold fifty almost. So we're not doing too bad. We'll take a run back down through this way. We'll drop off the prayer book in here like that and also that story and then we're going to head back up I'll also go back outside and we'll deposit those so that they are able to be processed by our zombies then we're not going to need that zombie on the stonemason desk um, having to stand by for processing any more of those that'll all be finished which is quite cool um, I got some more croissants right there that's good We'll pick up those bits of iron there. We'll run over this way. Is it there? Which chest was it that I dropped that stuff into? I'm, the only reason I'm curious is because I want to see if... Right, that's uh, other statues. I want to see if we've got gold left over. No, not gold. Uh, the, the broken ones left over. Don't appear to have the broken ones left over. I got a marble grave fence right there. That one's been made. Which I'm going to take with me now. Be quite handy. Anyway, that is all I've got time for now. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.